And we start tonight with breaking news as protesters gather outside the U.S. Supreme Court. Their growing presence comes amid reports that the court is ready to strike down the landmark abortion rights decision Roe versus Wade. In a leaked draft of the majority opinion obtained by Politico, Justice Samuel Alito writes that the Roe versus Wade decision was wrong from the start and that, quote, abortions are not protected by the Constitution. Let's go straight to Team 12's Bianca Bono to tell us what this could mean for Arizona. Bianca? Yeah, guys, the constitutional expert I talked to said if the court issues a final opinion overturning Roe v. Wade, abortion would likely become illegal in Arizona immediately. This is a first as far as I'm concerned. ASU law professor Paul Bender is stunned by Monday's bombshell Politico report, publishing an alleged draft of a majority opinion written by Justice Samuel Alito, showing the Supreme Court has voted to strike down Roe v. Wade, meaning a woman's right to an abortion would no longer be constitutionally protected. That's an enormous change in custom to have something like this leak. The case that led to this reported vote, Dobbs versus Jackson, yes, a challenge to a 15-week abortion ban in Mississippi, a similar ban that was later signed into law in Arizona, too. They could have upheld the Mississippi law without doing this, and then they could, in a subsequent case, go a little bit further, but to do it all at once is breathtaking. If the Supreme Court moves forward with this ruling, it would allow individual states to regulate or ban abortion. And in states like Arizona, the ban would happen overnight. It would mean that, at least in Arizona, uh, abortion would be illegal. But remember, that doesn't mean abortion is illegal all over the United States. Arizona has an abortion ban on the books already, stating anyone who performs an abortion will be sentenced to two to five years in prison, the only exception being to save a woman's life. That law has been unenforceable since Roe v. Wade. That would change if the ruling was overturned. Governor Ducey, who has been vocal about his pro-life position, reacting to the report Monday night. I've been consistently pro-life the entire time I've been in public life, and I'm gonna keep that position. So I'll have a comment if and when that opinion becomes public, but that's not gonna change my pro-life position. Again, the Supreme Court has not issued a final opinion. It's unclear how this document was made public. We're live in the Alert Center tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10.